John, you gotta come look at this. What is it? Dude, just come look. Holy sh... Today we're in Yosemite National Park in the valley. It's my absolute favorite place to go rock climbing. The landscape is amazing. I mean, we're sitting next to a perfectly calm, clear, beautiful Merced River. Uh, in the valley, I'm looking at El Cap in the background. I wouldn't have picked any other spot to like bring everybody together and to showcase like what we do. And there's just also a lot of history here too. And so it's kind of cool to be in one of the biggest places for rock climbing, kind of one of the places where bouldering kind of started. That's high for me. So I'm a full-time root setter uh, slash coach. The reason why I have the job I do now is so that I can have the freedom to pursue climbing. It's everything. Well, climbing used to be a full-time thing for me for a while, for a few years, uh, and then I sort of realized that I need more of a balance. It's, it's really nice, but it would be nice to just be going to one trip to a comp, to another trip, you're training, you're climbing, like you're fully immersed in the sport. And the, the window of opportunity that we have as athletes is like, always closing. It's always closing. You can always feel that. Having my only worry be sending rock climbs or you know which area are we gonna go to next like that wasn't like everything for me. It didn't feel like fulfilling. So I started going to school to be a chiropractor. Now I'm really busy and 
is the only time I have left besides school is to climb, and so that's what I do. stuff for sure. I got you. It, it tends to be some of the prouder lines in an area. Don't get me wrong, I love low balls too. But <laughs> the tall stuff is cool. As soon as I hit the lift, it was like, you go into scramble mode, you just have to hit the off switch. And I started thinking again, and then it was like, okay. Keep, keep your hands to yourself. <laughs> He's slapping himself. He's like, come on now! <laughs> If this works, I'm gonna be so happy. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Good. Get it. Come on. Yeah! yeah. Oh. 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 Damn it! Damn it! That's gonna work. He's gonna crash. <laughs> Today, Doc. Yeah, it's about that time. Big Ski Eastwood, 
LC. It's hustle time, nigga. Whether we gotta cook it or deliver it, money to be made. Let's hustle. I'm a hustle maniac. I love this shit. We drink pills of fancy. We love this shit. We smoke weed by the house. We love this shit. And we ain't never gonna change. We love this shit. I'm a hustle maniac. I love this shit. We drink pills of fancy. We love this shit. We smoke weed by the house. We love this shit. And we ain't never gonna change. We love this shit. 80s is over, nigga. We ain't slanging rocks. Working beneath the fog, we grind daily. Blue collar is an alias. You try and knock my hustle, and I'm moving on some crazy shit. We gotta eat, player. Brothers are starving. I take this knife to your chest and get the car. Open up your breastplate and expose your heart. As your face to see our niggas rose in the dark. Sling it on the internet, no longer in the park. Now my hustle and flow is just like a martial art. You see, we after the money, man. There's no limit. And if you riding with me, boy, you better be all in it. It's Mr. C and LC calling your bluff, telling motherfucking boys they ain't wild enough. Hey, I'm a hustle maniac. I love this shit. We drink pills of fancy. We love this shit. We smoke weed by the house. We love this shit. And we ain't never gonna change. We love this shit. I'm a hustle maniac. I love this shit. We drink pills of fancy. We love this shit. We smoke weed by the house. We love this shit. And we ain't never gonna change. We love this shit. I'm on the block hustling, hustling. same clothes on. on. The sky's looking cloudy. cloudy. Fuck a rainstorm. Rain I got an overhead. overhead. I gotta make a quota. quota. I couldn't leave a spot, spot unless my life is over. Climbing kind of consumes every aspect of my life. Uh, if I'm not working on climbing, I'm out climbing. Non stop. That's all I do. It's all I think about. Uh, and that's all I want to think about. Starting a production company that focuses on making climbing movies is the way that I decided to build my life around rock climbing. Getting to the place that we are today has been a long struggle. For three years I worked a job cleaning pools every day and then LT11 in the evenings. You know those long hard days where you're not sure you're gonna make rent or you're eating peanut butter and jelly for a month straight. We did what we had to do. I don't get paid a lot but I do get uh, some time to come to places like Yosemite. There's other things I could be doing, but I choose to rock climb. As a commercial photographer, I've always tried to find that balance with what I love to do outside, and that's rock climbing. In reality, I, I couldn't get another job. I just, I wouldn't be able to function in society in any other way besides making photographs. Like for me, climbing is climbing slash root setting because I'm equally passionate about both. I feel like that's the things I do best, and the best way in which I can contribute to society is just because these are my two passions. We just can't picture ourselves doing anything else. So we're in a full pursuit of our dreams. And I, I think that's a very important lesson for our generation. Never to calm down, remember our poor romance tour. Secrets we stole from the dance floor. Let's take one more tonight. We'll be alright, we'll be home by
I know a lot of people that set routes or, you know, work at a climbing gym and are just like, oh, well, it's something I'm doing just to get by, you know, before I decide to, like, get back to real life. Some weeks I'll be in love with this and, like, climbing is everything and I want to sleep in the back of my truck and then other weeks I'm like, wait, like, aren't, don't people have jobs and, like, shouldn't they have, like, a family and money by the time I'm 25 years old? Wait a minute. But then you're like, oh, wait, that project is awesome. And then it, like, pushes those thoughts out. So there's this, like, mental crazy thing that's, like, biting in your head all the time, at least for me. There's definitely this stigma out there that if you don't work a nine to five, if you don't, you know, buy a house and, you know, have two kids and a golden retriever, that you're not living the dream or that you're doing something wrong. I think this is a great example of a classic love story. You know, going out climbing and pursuing what you love and not feeling bad about it. on pride. It, it digs, man. It bites back. Last day in the valley. Went yep. for it big. Kick it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> those are those are really those are really tricky questions. Like they I mean that's like you're trying to get me to explain everything in like a sentence, like my whole driving force behind climbing. I can't explain that. That's tough. Bottom line, like we're doing this all because at the end of the day, if it's not fun, then what's the point? But, but it's, that's on the surface. There's like a deeper part that most climbers don't talk about that this like kind of dark passion that you have with climbing. Do you know what I mean? Don't really know how to put it into words, but it's, it's a lifestyle that you can't really escape. So I think I've kind of embraced it. This is exactly what I want to be doing with my life. And I basically have had like no repercussions and no second thoughts about any of it. I just like fully accepted that this was what was going to make me happy for the rest of my life. This feels Come on, Tosh.
Every time we go on a trip, uh, like this trip we're on right now in Yosemite, it just solidifies uh, my decision to make Louder Than 11 a full-time job with Jordan. The primary source of revenue for LT11 as a production company is a lot of commercial work. But the reason we do all that stuff is because it allows us to have the budgets to come on trips like this, which is what we live for, this is what we love to do. We get to go to amazing places and film with some of the unique people and uh, climb in some of the most beautiful places in the world. And every day we're getting up early, we're coming out, we're bringing out the cameras. It's been extremely rewarding because we get to you know, go out, bust our asses for you know, a week or two at a time and then go home and edit and make something that will entertain everyone that will you know, hopefully be watching our movies. I think what we do is about um, giving people our experience and like how, how we see climbing. I think everyone can contribute more. You know, the harder everyone works outside of just going out to the boulders, like that's how we grow the sport. That's what I'm psyched on is the sport getting to a point where it's sustainable for more people and I think this is the right avenue for doing it. Yeah, it's yeah, it's, this is everything we do, it's our life, so it's hard to say why we do it. Because I'd be doing this anyway, like everybody else. We'd all just be doing this anyway. The real bear is the one over there, though. The massive bear. You see it? Why? Because I think that. Oh my god. What is he doing? <laughs> <laughs> it's a face off. There's a buck, there's a coyote, and a buck. Hey, this thing looks good. Wanna try it? Shut the f up, Dave. What the hell, man? Chuck. 